Let's go, let's go, hold, hold. 26, can't do that. 26. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach. Three weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to the Raiders Chargers season finale, which was a ridiculous game, but I could not for the life of me find any good reviews about the win club in the end zone. So I went to the game myself and I wanted to share that experience with y'all, hopefully help you guys make some better informed decisions if you think about checking it out at a game next year. First things first, for starters, what I didn't know is that you don't have to buy a booth in order to sit in the end zone. Those booths are very, very expensive and run anywhere from 10 to $50,000 per game but as a cheaper alternative win offers standing room only first come first serve tickets that get you right along the end zone of the field these tickets start at 500 dollars, but i would highly recommend if you're going to commit commit earlier on in the week and get your ticket because based on the demand of the game they could go up later on in the week second tip i got for you guys because it's standing room only and it's first come first serve you really want to try to get a spot along the wall. If you're there to watch the game, you got to try to get a standing spot right along the end zone wall because there was like three rows of people standing in the standing room only. And if you're in like row two and row three and you're pretty short like myself, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass trying to watch the game, looking through people's shoulders, looking over somebody's shoulder in between heads. I feel like it would have been a pain in the ass and the experience for sure would not have been as good. Which leads me to my next point. I was so paranoid that I wouldn't get a front row spot that I showed up at the stadium at 12.30. The game started at um, 5.30. If you've ever been to a major college sporting event, you know if the game starts at 6 p.m., there's kids camping out at 6 a.m. waiting to get a seat. Now that I know I would never show up at the stadium at 12.30 again, usually the gates open about three hours before kickoff, so you can get into the stadium, get into the field club, still chill for a little bit, and we still had time before people started lining up on the end zone wall. I would say if you want to guarantee a spot along the end zone wall and not being like that third row of standing people, you would want to get there about an hour and a half to two hours before the game. However, even if you show up to the game super early, what's really cool is that there's a whole club underneath the stadium, which isn't something that I knew. Every time I watch a game on TV or from other seats in the stadium, I've always thought that it was just the booths. There's a whole club that goes underneath the stadium with a bar, there's a DJ, music. They have their own little like sports book and lounge area, TVs on the wall so you can watch all the other games. So it's not like we were standing against the wall for four hours until kickoff. That would have been a little bit miserable. But the best part about it too was because you could chill there, watch all the other games on TV that are going on, you can kind of keep an eye out on the field level too to see when more people are starting to come in, when more people are starting to line up along that end zone wall. They also had tables inside the club where people were standing there watching the game. Terrible view, absolutely terrible view. You probably wouldn't be able to see much of the game if you're trying to be inside the club, having drinks, party. I'm sure a lot of people just go there to party, have fun in that environment. If you're going there to watch the game, you gotta be near the field. Next thing I would highly recommend is, it's probably not the best seat to go alone because if you do need to go to the bathroom or do need to go get a drink or wanna go get food or whatever, you might have to give up your spot along the end zone wall. And again, like if you give up that spot and you're there to watch the game, it's going to be a pain in the ass trying to watch from like the third row back. If you are completely unfamiliar with the stadium, this end zone is where the visiting team has their tunnel. So if you're a Chargers fan, I would highly recommend trying to sit on the left side of the end zone because that's right where the tunnel is. You can get close up with the fans. Uh, a few of the players, you know, were signing autographs and jerseys and stuff like that. If you're a Raider fan, it doesn't really matter because the Raiders tunnel is on the opposite side of the field. So you could basically just sit wherever, but it's just kind of cool because it adds like another aspect to your experience. You see like the players like literally right on the field, warming up, doing their things. So, you know, just the, uh, Super cool little vibe. Now, do I recommend sitting here from a, a football fan viewership perspective? It kind of depends. There's nothing like being right next to the action, nothing like being row one in the end zone. However, it does have a few drawbacks. One, when the game's on the other side of the field, it's basically impossible to see. You can't really see nothing. Oftentimes when they were on the other side of the field, I caught myself looking up at the screen in order to see. And then when you look up at the screen, there's like a, a very, very slight delay. Like you can hear people cheering 
and then the play is like lagging like a half a second behind. Personally, I don't really like that. However, for this game, we got kind of lucky and they ended up playing on our side of the field most of the game, especially towards the end when the Chargers had two drives at the end, two touchdowns were right in our end zone. That fourth and 21 pass. <sighs> Herbert in the pocket. Fourth and goal from like the 21 yard line. That was an absolute laser to Josh Palmer. And you could hear the ball like hit his chest. That's something that you're not gonna get from any other part of the stadium. You're not even gonna get on TV. You could just see that and it's just like, you're like right there. The play was right in front of us. There's absolutely just, there's nothing like that. However, this is just my personal preference. I like to go to the games because I like to see all 22 players on the field at the same time. Even when you watch a game on TV, you can't see everybody on the field. If a wide receiver is running a deep route, you can't really see every player unless the ball is thrown to them. So personally, I think the second deck is the absolute best seats in all the stadium because you're kind of close a little bit, but you can also see everything. And then the coolest part about the Winfield Club, if you're into that kind of thing, but they have a full blown after party after the game, DJ's blasting all the Bay Area hits. I was with my friend who was a Chargers fan and he wanted to dip right after the game, rightfully so, but obviously given the nature of the game itself too, clinching his playoff spots, everybody was just having like an absolute crazy time. And if that's your thing, if you're into, you know, the ticket is kind of expensive, but if you think about it, ticket, 500 bucks, you get to watch the game. You can go there very early, watch all the games there, chill, hang out, have a great time. And then you still get the after party after the game. $500 isn't the end of the world when, you know, most tickets for these games are still going to be like $200 minimum, $300. If you want to sit in a lower level at any of the games, it's going to be $400 a ticket. So, you know, if you value that club experience after DJ's party, music, celebration after a win, when social club might be for you. you. I definitely think it's something that you guys should try at least one time. It was such a cool experience and it's just something that I'm going to remember forever. Anyways, I appreciate all you guys for watching. Just thought I'd share my own little experience with y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video.